Hey, what's going on everyone and uh, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to try to fix this HP EliteBook um, A40 G3. Um, it's not starting up, so we're going to try to fix it. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing, obviously, is to try to power on the computer. And nothing happened. Maybe the battery is uh, completely discharged, so I'm going to go ahead and plug the charger see what happens and uh, let's try it again and this time it came on so that's good news all right so we got some beeping uh, so this is the pose the power on self test and it's giving me three long beeps and two short. So that's probably memory problem. Um, so let's go ahead and, and notice that I have no video. I have a black screen. So I'm going to disconnect the charger and open the laptop. Okay. I'm going to take the cover off. Let's see what's going on. And uh, notice that we have no memory. So obviously it's not going to uh, boot on. It's not going to power on. So let me see if I have some memory sticks here. And, um, okay, this one's not going to fit. Let me try this one. All right. So we got one memory module. Let's go ahead and try to power it on again. Press the power button. Hopefully we're gonna get video now. Okay, so we have the HP logo. All right, so we have a uh, a post error. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm going, uh, I know that the resolution is not the best. Okay, so it detected, basically what happened is that it detected changes in memory. Um, every time you add or remove memory and the, the computer boots up, it looks at the amount of memory and uh, it, it wants you to confirm that you either replace memory uh, or did something with the memory. So I'm going to press the enter key in order to confirm. I know it's not going to boot up because I don't see a hard drive. And I'll see, no, it, it doesn't have, um, and it doesn't have um, a battery. But uh, hard drive should be able to, with a hard drive, we should be able to boot the computer. All right, so we got a boot up menu on the screen. And I'm going to select the second option, which is um, the BIOS setup. And uh, I press F10 or enter, and uh, I'm unable to enter the BIOS because it's uh, password protected. So, um, off to the next step, we need to unlock the BIOS. So I'm going to remove power. Uh, the BIOS is on this section here. And this chip right here, this is the BIOS. Let me bring the microscope. And that is the BIOS chip. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the BIOS chip so I can uh, unlock it.
Okay, so I was able to get the BIOS chip and I'm going to mount it on this adapter here so I can uh, read the content of the file, of the BIOS. This is a WSON um, type of uh, adapter. So you need to make sure that it supports the type of BIOS that you, uh, that you wanna use. Uh, next, I'm going to mount it on the XGECO. Make sure I align pin one with pin one. Unlock it in place. Let me get this out of the way here. And uh, next I'm going to select the IC. This is a W25Q128JV. Uh, I'm going to say read, or actually select. And then I'm going to say read and read. Okay, so we're reading the file from the BIOS chip. And next I'm going to save it to the, uh, to the computer so I can lock it. All right. So it's done. Let's go ahead and save the file. Save. And uh, I'm going to go into the file manager, file explorer. And this is the file here. I'm going to copy it. and drag it to the executable. And this should create this uh, unlocked uh, a file. It should create a file with the um, name unlocked. All right. So this is the file that we need to upload into the BIOS chip. Let's go back into the Execo Pro. <clears throat> And let's click open. <clears throat> and let's click program. All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, mount the chip back onto the computer. All right, so this is pin one, and, and this is pin one with a green dot on the ship. All right, so the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and turn on the computer. All right, so let's see if we were uh, able to unlock the BIOS. So I'm going to plug the charger and power on the computer. I'm going to hit escape during boot up so I can enter in the BIOS settings. I could have pressed F10. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to use the scroll down key and use the F10 bio setup menu, press enter. And I was successful to uh, get into the BIOS. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, remember to subscribe, uh, give it a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.